Okay guys, welcome to Aussie's Motor Tips. Um, today's got a bit of a twist, it's not about the Mini, um, although you could probably use this procedure on the Mini, um, or on any car, throttle body. Um, but today we're going to go to the Jixxer, to the uh, Suzuki GSXR 750 fuel injection. Um, not many videos about this one at the minute, uh, only because it's been pampered from the off. Really, I've had it for four years now. I think it's been pampered throughout. Uh, but this isn't really due. But I'm going to show you anyway. Um, we're going to be cleaning the butterfly valves on the throttle body. Um, not going to be taking the throttle body off. Um, this is the biggest question you've got to ask yourself when you do throttle bodies: is have you got the gasket? To replace the old one basically I haven't today so we're not taking the throttle body off the engine um, how do I so basically ask yourself before you even go to a screw on the on the uh, vehicle am I going to be taking the throttle body off the engine and bringing it in the house and cleaning it that's probably the best way um, or Am I going to be cleaning the throttle body on the actual vehicle? I'm going to be cleaning it on the vehicle. Um, but please, please, if you're going to do that, do not spray this stuff right onto the butterfly valves. Okay, do not do that. Because think about it, you're cleaning, you're cleaning them. So if there's filth in the butterfly valve, it's going to go right into your engine. Okay. Like I said, the proper way probably to do it is to take the throttle body right off the engine, um, replace the gasket when you're done cleaning, um, do it that way. Um, but I haven't got the gasket, so I've asked myself the question, have I got the gasket and what job do I want to do? The answer to that is, no, I haven't got the gasket, so I'm going to be cleaning the throttle body butterfly valves on the vehicle. So... When I use this stuff, I'm going to be spraying it on the cloth that I'm cleaning it. I'm not going to be spraying it directly in to the uh, throttle body. Make that very clear. You don't want crap going into your engine. Um, and that's exactly what you'll do if you don't take the throttle body actually off the engine. Okay? Right, cool. If that's clear, that's good. Um, today we're using... Carb cleaner, obviously, um, and an intake cleaner. Please don't use brake cleaner, um, WD-40 and all that. Just don't, just don't, just don't do that. <laughs> okay. We're using the proper stuff. This is my last day off and hopefully this all will go right. Um, I can't see it going wrong because I kind of know what I'm doing with this. I've done it before. Um, so let's go to the GSXR and start undoing the bolts and raise the tank and we've got to take the air box off where the air filter is and then we you'll see the butterflies a way butterfly works is when you open the throttle the butterfly valve opens and draws in air and then the ecu tells the injectors to give more fuel and that way you accelerate basically that Okay, so let's go to the, the bike and speak you through it. See you there. So, there's the butte. Um, you've seen him probably in another video of a safety check, um, but this one's actually performing a procedure on the throttle body. So, what you want to do straight away is take the seat off. Um, there's normally screws in the back, um, there and there, um, but in this case they're already off, so I'm just going to take that off, put it to one side. Then there's a bolt right there, you want to undo that one, and then there's bolts up here as well. You want to take them out. The 
It's a hex key. I'm guessing the size now. Five mil, I think. Hang on, I've got it here. Yeah, I think it's five mil. That is a guess. Um, maybe four mil. But uh, yeah, let's take them out. That's interesting. I've lost the uh, centerpiece on the right hand side. There's like a centerpiece, look. It's gone from that side. Um, that's not a major thing. Right, so let's undo that one. Unless it raises, it might raise by itself. Yeah, it will. Okay, that's good. If that was tight, guys, you would undo this big bolt going through the centre here. But it's not tight. I've obviously thought ahead at some point. And uh, left it a little bit loose, so I can just raise it. So let's raise the tank, which is going to be really hard with one hand. So you need tank support, which this is. Um, basically, when I raise the tank, this will hold the tank up, and it goes into the the yoke and holds it. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll set you up on the window. You should be able to see what I'm doing, hopefully, fingers crossed. If, if not, then, well, I can't help it. Right, so, up it goes, fully, fully, fully. That goes into the yoke, and then the top goes into one of the holes, and there we go. Jobs are good in. Like that. And there is your air box, guys. Now it gets a tiny bit more tricky now because there's your throttle body there and there's your throttle cable. So, what you want to do is there's four um, ties, there's four like connectors. And you can see if you go right in, there's a posi drive screw. You need to undo. All four which is an absolute nightmare um, I will definitely not be recording that I'm sorry and you need to undo that bolt which is really easy and then wiggle it out guys um, also there is connectors just just check I think that one is attached to the air box yeah okay so there's a connector there as well um, it might be an airflow sensor to be honest, I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember. And there's my injectors there. The very expensive part. So yeah, undo these clips. All four. And then undo that bolt up there. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, get back to you on the video. It's looking very damp in here, actually. Um, that could only mean trouble at some stage. I had a damp problem ages ago. And this is why. So uh, some... Some water repellent is going to go in here as well, I think, which is WD-40 and so forth. Uh, that that fuel pipe there, looking pretty crap. So, let's uh, get the tools for the job, mainly for that, that, that screw there. Okay, so we're at the other side of the jigsaw now, and going in there which is really hard to point the camera and do that at the same time. We undo the clip. Actually, I think, if I remember rightly, if I undo this one, it undoes, it actually undoes two of them, which is genius, Suzuki. Thank you very much. The more you undo it, the easier it will get to the airbox to get off. It's undone quite a lot now. So that should... I mean, I'm trying to see inside of there. Yeah, it's one big bolt, I think, going through. I think. I can't... I think they've thought about 
not being able to get to all four. It's been a long while since I've done this. Okay, and that one's going undone as well. Been a long time. I know I know this is a bitch to get back on. I know that much. Okay, so that's really loose now. So the airbox now will just come up. And pretty, if I remember, remember rightly. I can't see anything there that I... I'm shaking a bit because this is awkward. All right, one second. I'm going to investigate and update you. I can't actually remember. Okay, so next is obviously the 10 mil bolt. That's uh, pretty simple stuff, which is here. It's quite a long bolt, actually. There we go. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Obviously keep your bolts all in one place. And with some persuasion, this airbox should move, which it is. Obviously you don't want to wrench on anything, but that should move. I need two hands again guys so we've undone clip there clip the other side and the 10 mil bolt um, I'll get back to you because I just need two hands else the bike's gonna come over or something also you got that clip right there that needs to come off so it's a push down on the top and you just pull the clip that kind of clip there we go um, I remember cleaning the connectors on this uh, a few years ago, so it should be good. And then you got a hose here <laughs> that needs to come off as well, ideally. <sighs> okay, you could undo the screw there as well. It's up to you, really. Um, Either, either. Entirely up to you. Plus you've got a clip here as well. Which is the same kind of thing. Push in. There we go. Like that. Okay. Um, and yeah. I mean. This sh kind of should be an easy job but. I don't know, man. It's, it's, uh, some of this bike is looking pretty bad. So I'm going to spray up and go a bit mad with the uh, water repellent. One second. This is fresh, like I said. Right, I'll speak about all the hoses in a minute. Everyone's got their noisy bikes out today for some reason. Okay, so to obviously get the airbox out, you've got to lift the... Uh, the fuel tank higher so one second if I place you here oh I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing so I'm lifting the fuel tank higher and higher yes the yoke thing will come out and then the box which is massive come out there we go awesome and then we put the yoke thing in and we've got access to the throttle body wow that's looking damp okay one second thing is the bike lives outside through the winter so okay so as you can see that is a butterfly valve don't know if you can see that there's four of them 
So when I open her up, which I'm about to do now, it will open the butterfly valves completely. Okay. And that is access to your engine. So it's important that you uh, make sure nothing goes in here apart from cleaner. So what I'm going to do is tell you exactly what was connected to the air box. So this one here, there is a vacuum valve at the bottom um, of the box, which was there. That's attached to that pipe. You've got a br breathing pipe crankcase going into the crankcase, obviously, which is down there. That pipe there that goes on. Um, obviously, you've got that pipe which I showed you earlier, and the connector, and you've got that connector which I showed you earlier as well. That side. So there's quite a lot on the airbox. Okay, but let's get cleaning. Um, it's looking a little bit grubby down there to be honest it's looking grubby everywhere so what I'm going to do is get a cloth spray the cloth don't spray in there um, actually you know what that throttle body can come right out if I wanted it to see that clip there I don't think there is a gasket on it so it's not like cars yeah that, that, that whole unit can come out if it wanted to um, I'm not going to do that, it's going to be impossible to to film, to be honest. Plus I need the bike tomorrow because I'm back at work. So, yeah, let's get clean in with the cloth. Let's just stick our fingers in there pretty much. Um, and let's see if we can get some cleaner in there. And then we'll, we'll connect it all back up again in reverse order, like I said. Which I probably won't record because I need both hands. Um, I might set you up on the window, I don't know how much you can see there. And uh, yeah, again, spray the cloth, don't spray in the holes, okay? Because whatever's crap, whatever crap is there, which you can see some there, that's just gonna run right into the engine, okay? I mean, if I open her up, look, one sec. Look at that ring, that's where we're gonna attack, okay? That's minging. So yeah, let's see if we can clean it up. I'm gonna get a cloth and the intake cleaner is right there. Right, so all I'm doing guys is spraying cleaner onto this glove and then basically just sticking my fingers where I want it to clean. This is intake cleaner so I mean it's kind of doing it a little bit. Sorry forget to film that's quite stubborn actually the ideal situation really is to take all these valves off if I'm honest oh god see now I need my other hand because I've trapped the glove in the butterfly and I need to open the open the throttle to, for it to let go of me <laughs> for fuck's sake oh there we go okay so yeah, it's gonna take it's gonna take a bit of time, um, but what I'll do is I'll do all four um, like this, and I'll film I'll film the I'll film this cylinder here, cylinder four I think that is, and I'll show you my progress I suppose. So catch you in a sec. So the latest. What I've ended up doing is, yeah, spraying into the bore. Uh, you can see a little puddle there. Whatever I'm going to do, though, I'm not going to open that butterfly. I'm going to clean it shut first. Let the cloth, let the cloth actually absorb most of it. And I'm, I'm kind of letting it soak. Plus, I'm actually getting cleaning there, um, where the butterfly kind of rotates and makes contact with the throttle body casing that's quite an important place to clean yeah it's not looking too bad it's just 
That one's looking nice. This one's looking a bit shit. That one's looking nice. I've got a it's looking better now. Now I'm cleaning it. You can see the difference. This one here though, I'm having a bit of trouble with. Number four. Um, looking a bit grubby in there. But the other three are, are, are cleaned, as you can see. Well, this one's looking a bit shit. So I'm going to work on this one a bit more. See what we can do. Um, yeah. So I'll set you up in the window and I'll have a bit of a go at that. You can watch me work away. Okay, so the latest is, I was hoping for better results, but there's one, it's kind of shining a bit, two, three, and four, looking a bit more cleaner, again this is not exactly high maintenance, it's not high priority to do this, um, but if I go to the throttle a minute, nice movement of the butterflies as you'll see nice even movement so it's if you can imagine i'm going along the road that's idle that's gradual acceleration and then if you're like that you're pretty much doing a wheelie um, but what i might do is start the engine now with the airbox off and you, you can actually hear exactly what I'm on about. Okay, so it is the back wheels off the ground. Uh, get some fuel. Okay, so I've got to be careful what's going towards. What's that? Oh, it's loud. So I've got to be careful what's going towards the butterfly, uh, the butterflies, uh, because I don't want any grit or anything going in there. But I'll show you exactly what I mean by the butterflies opening. Okay. Ready?
So you get the idea of when I said when the butterfly is completely open, you'll be doing a wheelie <laughs> because literally I know it's out of gear right now and there's no weight behind it. So that's why you don't need much. Um, if you was on the road and you had the weight of your body and the bike, you'd probably need a bit more than what I'm showing you there. Um, but yeah, it's because it's a sports bike, literally all you need is a tiny bit of air and the thing is just, just an animal. Um, but I don't know, I've cleaned a little bit. I might go a little bit more and then um, I'll set you up on the window and we'll put the air box back uh, in reverse of what I showed you how to get them off. Um, I'll be putting all the hoses on, all the connectors. Um, I'll take some pictures on the way, I think. And um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much a throttle body clean when it's on the engine. The ideal scenario, like I said, is to take it off the engine replace gaskets etc um, I need the bike tomorrow so I'm not gonna be doing that it might go right into about six o'clock seven o'clock and then if there was any problems you know how it is um, but yeah you know if you don't need the vehicle in a week or so or whatever um, take it off clean it properly bathe it you know but yeah that is pretty much throttle body uh, operation and cleaning um, I'm gonna go for a little bit more clean it right up there is some dirt coming out of there um and yeah like i said i'll put it back together right on
Right, guys. Um, obviously, those two uh, those two have to be done up uh, hand tight. It's um, it's three mil, by the way, not four, like I said. Um, and the bolt on the air box is a ten mil um, socket. So, obviously, the seat back on. And we've already started it, so you've seen it will work in fine. Um, if you want, we'll start it again just for the hell of it. Just so, just so like you won't be paranoid about starting it again. So I'll start mine if it blows up. Then don't do what I did. Very, very instant. Yeah, it's running like a dream, it's fine. Um, throttle bodies have been cleaned as much as possible. I mean, this is a 1997 bike. So those throttle bodies are not going to be gleaming. Um, but I've done it as much as I could. It's kind of like a crash course. This isn't the proper way to do it. Like I said, if you take the throttle body completely off the engine, that's probably the best way to do it. But uh, either way, whatever I've just done is going to help it. It's not going to kill it. Um, but make sure that you use carbon intake cleaner. Don't use very liquid. Don't use brake cleaner. Don't use any other cleaner but this the reason why is because it evaporates really quick and I know brake cleaner does as well but it's brake cleaner for a reason so yeah okay so all's good we'll give it a quick rev Job's a good one. Okay, so like you know, just chill. When you're doing it, just chill. Um, everything will be fine. Just don't spray it right into the engine because um, all the crap that it's cleaning is going to go right back into the engine. Okay. So. Uh, there's, there's not really any point in doing things that went wrong, things went right, because um, everything went right. We just cleaned it, started it, and it's all good. So I hope that helped, mate. And, um, you know, leave a comment or whatever, and um, enjoy. Trust what you're doing, you'll be fine. It's a simple job anyway, so it's the same with cars as well, if you want to do it with your car, then um, same same kind of thing, but cars do have gaskets, um, this one I don't think does, um, so beware of that, don't take the throttle body right off the engine, if, unless you've got the gasket to replace it, that's quite important. Every single day.